In this particular uh, question, it's asking, we're still right, being asked to write the equation of a line in slope intercept form, but this time we're given the slope, so we don't have to find it. So this is, we already have m, um, but what we're given instead is a point, okay? So let's not forget our equation. Okay, so we already have the m. And my m is 5 thirds. Okay. And what we need, because based on the name, I need this, I need the value for the slope, and I need a value for the y-intercept. So what I need to solve for is I need to solve for B. I need to find out what that B value is, okay? And I'll show you both how to solve it algebraically and then how to use the graph as well, so you can choose your method. Now, again, we're solving for B. So the question is, what, are my, what values am I gonna use for X and Y? Well, that's exactly what my coordinate or my point is. Those are my X and Y values. So we're gonna first plug it, finish plugging in our values for M, X, and Y. Y is negative three, and in this case, X is also negative three. Okay. Um, now to solve for B, the next thing I need to do is I need to multiply my M and my X value. Okay, so when two variables are right next to each other in an equation, it means multiplication. And you'll notice the negative three I put over one because when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So that negative three is a whole number I needed to turn into a fraction. So when I do that, I'm gonna get five times negative three is a negative 15 and three times one is three. Okay. Um, so after we multiply, then the next thing we want to know, next thing we want to do is we want to simplify. Okay, and in this case, I can divide negative 15 by 3 and get an even number. Okay, so I, negative 15 divided by 3 gives me a negative 5. Okay, so my last step is to get B by itself. So depending on, sorry, depending on what value I have for when I multiplied M and X, I neither need to add or subtract that value to both sides of the equation to get B by itself. Molly, please stop. Nope. So I'm going to add 5, so when I, negative 3 plus 5 gives me a positive 2, and that is my B value. But now that we found B, we're not finished yet, I mean we're finished finding the values that we need, but I now have to write the equation, okay? And when we write the equation, remember we're gonna substitute in the value for m and the new b value I found. So my final answer is gonna be y equals, my m is 5 thirds, and my b is a positive two. So that is my final answer. Okay, so let me now show you how to solve the same problem using the graph paper. This next example is the same exact thing. We're writing the equation of the line. But in this case, 
I'm not giving the slope first. So that has to be my number one step is I have to find my slope. Now, in the previous video, I showed you, you can calculate the slope either by using the formula or plotting the points on the graph. I'm gonna do the full algebraic method first and then I'll show you the graphing method. So step number one would be find the slope. So I gotta use my slope formula. So remember it's the difference in the y values over the difference of the x values. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do like setting up my template first so we don't accidentally um, confuse a negative with a subtraction sign. So this is x and y, this is x and y. So my two y values are negative five and positive one. My x is negative four and negative one. Okay, so when, when, we're, when we are subtracting, it's the same as adding the opposite value. So this is actually going to give me a negative 6. And when I do 4 minus a negative 1, that's the same as negative 4 plus a positive one. So that's gonna give me negative four plus one gives me negative three. Okay, and then negative six divided by negative three is a positive two. Don't forget two negatives make the positive. So I have a slope of negative two. So that's step number one, we found our slope. Second, is we're gonna plug in our values for m, x, and y to solve for b, just like I did in the previous problem. Okay, so with y equals mx plus b. Now, which one should I use? So I've got two X's and two Y's. Well, here's the great thing. It doesn't matter. They're both points on the line. So choose the easiest point. Well, I know anything times one is itself, so I'm gonna use the ones, those are better. So Y is a positive one. My M, my slope is two. I just solved that in my previous problem. X is a negative one. And now I can solve for B. Don't forget, as I mentioned, we first have to multiply M and X first before we can add or subtract. Now a negative times a, a negative times a positive is gonna give me a negative. So this is a negative two. And then we're gonna add or subtract. In this case, I have negative two plus B, so to get B by itself, I need to add two to both sides. So my B is a positive three. Okay, well, I have my M, which is two. I have my B, which is three. So my equation is Y equals two X plus three. Now let me show you how we can get that same answer using the graph paper. Okay, so if I remember I write my points correctly, so it's a negative four, we had negative one. That's exactly what we got here, positive three. So we know my slope is five thirds, and the point it goes through is negative three, negative three. So the first thing I want to do is I need to plot my point. 
Okay, I need to plot negative three, negative three, so I know where I'm starting. So I'm left three, down three, puts me right here. Okay. Because again, we're solving for B. I need to find that point that is on my y-axis right here, okay? And I can do that by counting my slope. Remember, my rise is five, my run is three. So from my point, I'm gonna count. Five is positive, it's a positive five over a positive three. So I'm going to count up five units, and three is positive, so I'm going to count three, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to count to the right three units. Okay, so from my point, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three and I land at positive two on my y-axis. This is my B value. This is the point where the line crosses my y-axis. And by counting the rise over run, it provides for me another point on the line. Now I could also, I could continue to count and sh to show you the are other points on the line. Um, so that five over three, I could also count negative five, negative three, which would be to the left five units and down three units. And I'm sure you're like, well, wait a minute, you said it was positive. So how are we getting negatives? Well, two negatives make a positive. So if you notice, if I go to count down one, two, three, four, five, and I count to the right one, two, three, you'll notice for the first time ever, I actually drew a straight line because my line ended up right where that point was. So I got lucky there. Okay. So the counting of the rise and the run gives me the points on the line. In this particular case, I needed the one, the B value that is sits on the y-axis. So now I have, so my b is two, my m is five-thirds, so as I mentioned, my equation or my final answer would be that. Five and one and, oops, let me center my graph here a little bit better. We have negative four, negative five. And okay. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna plot our points. All right, so negative four, negative five is four to the left and five down, which puts me here. And then negative one, so one to the left, but y is positive, so that puts me here. Okay. So now we don't know how far up this goes, but it definitely goes down this way. Okay, so now that I have my I've plotted my points. I need to find my slope by counting my rise over run. Okay, and to do that, I need to draw my right triangle. Okay. So my run, which is down here, is one, two, three. And my rise is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and if you remember, 
that's what we got when we use the formula. So what I have is I have a rise of 6 and a 1 of 3. And we've already determined that 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I have a slope of 2. Okay. My next and last step will be to continue counting my rise over run till I hit my y axis. Because remember, we're looking, we're looking for b. We're always solving for that b value, that value that crosses the y axis. So we said my slope is 2, okay? My run for any whole number will always be 1. Okay, we can convert any whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1 because 2 divided by 1 is 2. So it means I'm going to count up 2 and to the right 1. So 1, 2, and to the right 1. Well, that's positive 3. Okay. So this is my B value. So Y equals 2X plus 3. You don't need to write the 2 over 1 for the your, your slope value or your M value. Because we want to always write it in simplest form. So just a quick recap for this. First, I plotted my two, point, my two points given. Then I drew my right triangle so I could count my rise over run. And once I knew what that rise over run was, I could then count, okay, we, we count till we reach the y-axis because that's what B is. B equals the point on the y-axis. So that's how we that's how we can solve or write the equation of the line using just graph paper. So again, your choice on which method you want to use to solve.